Testing, testing. That's going to be really loud. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Art Club Online. My name is Michelle. Today, I'm going to try to teach you a simple way to draw hair and Drawing hair can be kind of complicated because hair is usually mine is crazy and all over the place, but hopefully we can kind of simplify it today. Hair is basically just a bunch of pool noodles that are really, really tiny on your head. <laughs> okay. So if we think about it that way, when a piece of hair is bent, whatever is closer to the light is going to be lighter and whatever is further from the light is going to be darker. So can you just show me myself there for a second? I curled my hair a little bit today to try to make waves so that I could show you this because today we're going to kind of draw wavy-ish hair. So you can probably see here how it goes light and dark, light, dark, light, dark like that, can you see? And I know that it's all mixed up and crazy, but that is the basic simplicity of what we're gonna draw. Let's try. And I'm one. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by practicing basic texture of hair, okay? So to make this simple, I want you to start by doing a squiggle line, and you're gonna go left, right, left, right, left, right, kind of like hair, get it? But I want you to do sort of the same line about this far away, okay? So start about the same way, just try to make the same line again. So left, right, left, right, I'm copying the other line there, okay? So what happens with hair is when light hits the hair, parts that are closer to the light are lighter and the parts that are further from the light are darker. So let's imagine that the light is shooting this way onto the hair, okay? So we've got light, a little light shining. You don't have to draw that. That's just for your imagination to uh, understand what I'm saying. So there's a light shining on the hair this way. So all the parts that bounce out towards the light are gonna be lighter. And all the parts of hair that are dented away from the light are going to be darker. So let's start by just making some hair lines like this in that shadow part. Okay, and let's do the same with this because this part is also denting away from the light, see? And it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because it is hair, right? There's like thousands and thousands of pieces of hair. So here's another one already starting to look like a wave and we'll do this part up here too now just as a little side note when you're doing the hair strokes it's better if you do like a feathery stroke like this and you can start start light and press down and then lift and practice doing those kind of strokes where they just get thinner at the end. See, like that? Because if you do the strokes like this, hard the whole way, that's not gonna look very good. So I'm trying to make the strokes really feathery. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over it again but we're gonna make them a little bit longer and a little bit lighter. So a little bit less. You 
you see how I spaced those out more? Same with this one. And here. So I'm spacing them out a lot more than these ones. like that. So now what will make this look even better is if we take a piece of tissue and you just put that over your finger like this and this is going to work really well as a smudger. So on the shadowy parts we're just going to rub it and this softens it up. You can use a Kleenex or any kind of tissue paper. Like that. So now I'm gonna go over it again. Over the dark areas. And this does take some time. but it's really worth it in the end. My hand is cold, so I'm having a hard time. Okay, so let me smudge that out again. And then we can do a few strokes over top, see? And if you want to, of course you can put many, many more layers than this. So then we can take our eraser And we can add some shiny spots to it as well. So there we go. So this is basically how hair goes, even when it's smaller waves. So let's say there's hair like that. We do the same thing. If the light is coming from over here, then all these indented spots get colored in first. And I'm kind of rushing this, but when you do it, try to start light and get darker and darker as you go. And you're going to have a much nicer end result. Okay, so let's try to put some hair on a face. Hair is basically just bunches of all the strands together. So everybody's hair is different. But for today, I'm gonna just do a simple, wavy, long hairstyle, okay? So let's say her hair is parted in the middle, like that. And I'm just going to draw out to the edge of her face and then waves just like we practiced. Now I'm going to do the top of her head and then I'm going to go along with the waves I just did except when I get close to the bottom I'll bring it together. 
Okay, so bring the edge to the edge of her face and then do some waves. Top of the head. Now, those sort of match, which is gonna help us because of what we just learned before. Now I'll do her neck and then more waves. Another sort of a snaky piece is in behind there. And then over here too. Okay, so this is very simple, but it's gonna help us practice doing hair, all right? So let's say the light is on this side and the light is also on this side for that hair. So we'll do the same thing as before. So when you're drawing hair, just try to follow in a feathery way the direction that the hair is going. And hair is never really super perfect because it's hair. So don't worry if you're copying a picture and it doesn't turn out to be exactly, exactly like the photo because it's hair and that's the beauty of it. And don't be afraid to put some stray hairs around, but just not too many. And you can put some darker places to make it a little bit more imperfect and realistic looking. 
And it's always good to use a photo to look at. So there we go. It works the same way with straight hair. Whatever part is further away from the light will be a bit darker. See, like down here too. It's sort of like one wave. And if you want to draw hair, then if you want to invent a character, you can start with their face and then start deciding how their hair is going to be. So draw the pieces. And then you can start filling in the texture of the hair just like we learned. So this would be darker, that would be lighter. There's one piece, this is darker, that's lighter. There's another piece. Darker here, darker down here. There's another piece. So it's basically going from light to dark, light to dark, lots and lots of times. And hair closer to the face is also going to be darker, typically. And then you smudge again. And then draw again. And then of course you can add some details. And you can use an eraser to add some shine too, after. And it just makes it really nice and shimmery looking. So there you have it. I hope that helps you guys practice your hair drawing texture. And let me know if you guys have some great ideas on how to draw hair. So that was our episode on drawing hair kind of more long hair. We should maybe do another episode on drawing short hair. Maybe beards, mustaches, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Not armpit hair. <laughs> when. So thank you for watching. And if you made it this far in the video, you get a special treat because I'm going to open the Art Club mailbox. Once again, people, it has been a long time. Well, maybe there's spider webs in there and I don't know, because I haven't opened it in a long time, but we're gonna see if we got anything in here. And there definitely sounds like there's something. So, Len, if you wanna 
zoom in here, get a nice close up. Going to open my mailbox. That's hard. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there is something in here. And it's very suitable for today. So you'll know what I mean in a second. I have this nice little Lego person here and a beautiful collection of wigs. Let's try them on, shall we? Ooh, stylish. <laughs> Ooh. Or, I'm so emo. I do not wish to fight you. Oh my goodness. Looks like my dad. <laughs> and this is your dad when he was younger. <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> this is not a hairdo. Uh, I think that would be quite impossible to do your hair that way. All right, that's it. Thanks so much, everybody. Now let's get out of here. <laughs>